Hey everyone, Scott here with an Aperture experience for you. So um, today's shot, uh, I've been working on some older photos when I took at the uh, Wild Animal Park in San Diego many years ago. Uh, this is you know, beautiful cheetah. We actually got to go up close to it on this particular trip. Uh, and I got a very you know blurry, out of focus, you know, keep moving, keep moving type shot. Um, and I've done a lot of cleanup, and you can see where we started, you know, this, you know, dashing by, is able to zoom in, get a little more of the crispness in there. But still, you know, the, the cheetah's face and, you know, the, the body here, it's just not quite as sharp as I'd like it. This is something I'd never bother to print large, but there's still a little cleanup that can be done to make it uh, acceptable for, like, on-screen viewing, like on an iPad or even an iPhone, this would look great. So um, I've played with sharpening already. And, you know, I can crank this up really far, and you can see the cheetah's body and so forth coming in. But when we zoom in, we're introducing a lot of noise and grain into the face and into the, uh, the body. So I didn't like that. Um, but what I found is with a combination of sharpening and then for edge sharpen, that worked a little better. So edge sharpening kind of saving the day here. And, and making the, this shot salvageable. So I'll just brush in a little bit here. And we can see, okay, that's enough there. If I start playing with the edges, we'll start to get a lot more crispness in here. The whiskers start to come back. Let me turn that off and turn that on again. See what I'm talking about? And so what I'll do is I'll take the edge sharpen and apply it to the entire of the, the body of the animal. I'm gonna do that very quickly using uh, my brush lift and stamp script. So I will lift from my sharpened brushed in and save it to edge sharpen. Be right back after aperture closes and reopens. Actually, that was quicker than I was expecting. That's even better. So we can see I've got the, the mask on the entire of the cheetah's body. And if I start to play with these sliders, you can see that this out of focus, more into focus, get that crispness back in there and really have the, the cat jump off of the background. Um, so, um, don't be afraid to play around with even combining these things, crank up sharpening a little bit more, all depending on what your your uh, ultimate media is going to be. Again, for a shot like this, I wouldn't try to print this uh, large at all. It will look you know grainy if I zoom in, you know, and and uh, just you know, not incredibly pleasing. However, you know, for sharing with friends, family, or something, just a nice background on your phone or on your uh, iPad, you know. Play around with Edge Sharpen, take a look at it. Um, this is the first time I've really found it to be um, very helpful in conjunction with the Sharpen tool. Hadn't really played much with it, and yeah, found it interesting, so I'm sharing it with you. That's it for this time. See you again soon.